Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another toy axing video. And today I'm going to apply some toy axe to Chopper Face. Great figure, as you know, from the Kingdom line. And uh, I was watching uh, Patriot Prime's video uh, a couple of weeks back where he toy hacks the same figure. And the eyes sold me on this set. And I'm looking at this set on vinyl backing and there's a lot of lines everywhere so looking forward to it though because uh, I do believe that this will look very 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 nice on chopper face which is one of my favorite character his death scene in Beast Wars was amazing voiced by Scott McNeil a very important character and I think that in the Kingdom uh, reboot well not reboot but the Kingdom show I think that they did him honors uh, this character remained faithful to the original iteration the voice was good and the death scene again was also um, well, I, I wouldn't say touching but it meant something as much as the original death scene uh, in Beast Wars it meant something so without any delay we're gonna take a look before I apply the stickers and after but before I do if you want to go like subscribe and hit the bell that would really help the channel thank you it's a warrior without weapons eh? So here we are with Dinobot, and to take a quick look, sheet, uh, you have a lot of decals for the legs, uh, the torso, this, I don't know where this goes, there's only one sheet, that it's all on vinyl, which I prefer, I find the foil uh, sheet a little harder to, to deal with. And I'm trying to spot the eyes. There they are. You have two versions. You have the green for when he's shooting lasers. And you have the red. And there's the highlight for the eyeball. And I really, really, that's what sold me on this set. So basically anything around it is fluff. So, but still looking forward to applying this set. And taking a look at the figure, great accessories. Uh, I wish they would have found a way to make this one, you know, that, that the hand could close because if when you try to squeeze it, then it just pops off. But uh, still, great uh, weapon. I like this weapon. And of course, it doesn't spin like in the show, but that would have been a very fragile accessory if it did. And you have, you know, gold uh, de uh, paints uh, over the molding detail which are really good, but it's missing a little something. Even for here, it's kind of bland. Uh, the faux face looking really good too. Uh, that's pretty much it. You don't have, the, you know, the face sculpt is great too. Like there's actual good paint on this, but the stickers, which are gonna be extremely hard to put in, in those little tiny eyeballs, I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm sure I'll pull it off. So, there you go. Quick look before. Let's get him all uh, pampered up. And here we are after, and let's put in a picture. You can already spot the differences. You can see the ribs here have been enhanced. Uh, the tip of the accessory. That was a little hard to apply. Let's take a look at the accessories themselves. This was hard to apply because it's a round section so you have to go deep with the tool push it and apply some pressure and uh, works fine and I think it looks really good although it's something that you only see when if you display it like that because if you close it magic is gone and here this is where I hate being colorblind I know there's decals there like on these little section here, every elevation, let's say on the sword, every blade basically have a, uh, a decal, but I'm colorblind and I can't see any freaking difference. So if you guys can see a difference in color, let me know. Uh, but uh, that was fun to apply. Oh, and they also include in that, sh that's this whole sheet here, 
This one here is shorter and it specifically goes here because that hole makes the blade a little shorter. So good thinking. Figure itself, lots of decals, but look at the selling point. I'm gonna try to look at those eyes. You see that eyeball, that mechanical red light eyeball? Exactly like the show, I love it. So what you get with this set are highlights. Basically everything that was kind of just plain orange, they've enhanced, so ears, or whatever you call here. This is highlighted in gold. There's a sticker that goes all the way around in the back here. That was, if you misalign it, then you have to restart. It was a bit painful. You have a sticker that goes from here to here, like that's just, maybe I can, yeah, that's just one piece all the way around. And then you have a little piece here goes with those two. Shoulder are enhanced. Uh, the ribs here and the back here. Tricky to apply, but that was fun. And the eyes weren't so bad to apply after all. Great waffle covering. They added pieces. And it's two of the same piece on this side, as you can see. And it's a different uh, model on this side. How do I flip? There you go. Like this. See if I can. Oh, there you go. So, very interesting. Crotch, you cover everything around the codpiece. And a little bit here. This. You know, you have to put them in some undignified position for a warrior once in a while to apply decals. All the the, 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 the the metallic shine here is decals. Hard to apply. You put some here. I think that looks really good. There's one in uh, which part? Oh yeah, there's one on the end here. That goes to cover that. And then they give you some extra ones. So I've put them in the back of the shoulder here. I think it looks, looks okay. There's a tiny line here on the foot. Well, the ankle, I guess. And then you have those decals here for on top of the foot. And I think, I think that's it. All right, and now let's take a look at it in alt mode. Oh, that's right. There isn't any stickers for alt mode. Okay, um, let's go with final thoughts. In the end, this is a fantastic set, kind of hard to apply in some area, a lot of curves and especially within the uh, the inner ties. Make sure you warm up the figure a little bit. Don't do like me with my RC last time and warm her up too much and then permanently lose those joints. I think Dinobot looks amazing. He's ready for battle and now he's going to do it with more style. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like the videos, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!